Hey guys, welcome to ExcelForNoobs.com. What I'm going to do here is a quick Excel tutorial um, on the count if function. I'm going to do this using Microsoft Excel 2016. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so what is the count if function? The count if function uh, refers to a range of cells and then it, and it counts the number of cells um, that meet a certain criteria. So for example, if we wanted to, uh, if we wanted to find out how many homes here, you can see that I have a um, table that has, uh, you know, home, homes that are for sale listed. If we want to find out how many homes are for sale in Ruskin, um, we can use the countf function to do to find that out for us. So let's just go ahead and get started with some examples. So uh, one of the examples that I want to use here is the number of homes that are greater than or equal to $150,000. All right, so what I do is I hit my equal um, symbol and then I can start counting in my function. The count if function is just um, as it sounds, count if, open up my uh, parentheses and then I will select my range of cells, which is the list price. So my first argument is the range of cells. I'm going to separate my arguments by entering the, entering the comma. And now for the criteria or my second argument, I'm going to have to enter that in parentheses or in quotations. Okay, so what is it? It's greater than or equal to 150,000. Close my quotations and close my parentheses. And there we have 11 homes that counted it for us. Now, of course, we can go through and count this in this small table. But if we're working with a very large uh, table or a large range of cells, this is extremely efficient. Okay, so now let's count how many homes are less than or equal to 150,000. Okay, so again, equals count. I start typing. And there I can find my function through this list, my function in this list. I can double click on it. Okay, you can see that the quotations are already open. Let's select our first argument, the range of cells, separate it with a comma, and now let's enter in our criteria. Remember that criteria needs to be inside of quotations. Okay, our criteria is less than or equal to 150,000. And it's, an, it's a number, I don't have to you know, do any number format. Okay, so we close our quotations and close our parentheses. And there we have nine. There's nine homes that are less than or equal to 150,000. All right, let's find homes that are greater than 2,000 square feet. Equals count if, open up our uh, parentheses, and we'll select our range to the square foot. So we're selecting a different range of cells. And now I'm selecting this range of cells, but you could manually type it in if you want to type in. Um, you can see that it's actually giving us over here our range, the table name, and the column uh, header within a table. But if we we're doing a range of cells, it would just give us uh, the cell address. For example, this would be cell F4 through F20 if we weren't a table. Okay, so uh, again, we got our range of cells, comma, and we'll enter in our criteria using the quotations. Remember it's going to be greater than 2,000. And we close our quotes and our parentheses. We got four homes that are greater than 2,000 square feet. Bigger than 2,000 square foot. All right, how many homes for sale in Ruskin? Equals count if Select our range of cells. And again, that could be range C4 through C20, or the range is table one, which is the name of this table, and then in our city column. Okay. Uh, comma. And what is our criteria? Our criteria is Ruskin. So we enter in our criteria and the quote in the quotes. Now let's close our quotes and close our parentheses. We got four homes for sale in um, Ruskin. Okay, 
Um, so there you kind of get an idea of uh, what the CalNIF function is used for. There's several, just you know, search around on the internet. Uh, Microsoft on uh, their Office Help page, they have a good explanation of the COUNTIF function, um, certain errors, certain problems you may come across. So be sure to refer to that. I'll put the link in the description. All right, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, don't forget to visit my website at excelfornoobs.com. Please subscribe, share, rate this video, and I look for my next videos next time. Thanks, bye.